Hello everyone, welcome to a new video on preclinical pharmacology. Today, we will discuss about this item characterization. It is an important topic in pharmacological and toxicological screening method, second in M pharmacology and also in a research project. Now, basically, we will see taste item. Now, basically, what does a taste item means? It is an article of an or a subject of an study on which we are going to do a study. And characterization, it basically means identification of that specific test item. Now, this uh, test item characterization provides us Hence, basic objectives of these guidelines provides us clarity for test facility on expectations of national good laboratory practices, compliance monitoring authorities on how test item transported, received, identified, labeled, sampled, handled, stored, characterized, archived, and disposed. Means this uh, guidelines uh, gives us evidence that the uh, that the test item is characterized according to good laboratory practices on its transportation, receiving, identification, labeling, sampling, characterization, storing, etc. And also, this document considers existing OECD guidance on test items that are used in studies conducted in compliance with principles of good laboratory practices. Means it follows. OECD guidance as well as it comply with the principles of good laboratory practices. Its aim is to pro promote or develop a consistent approach in appropriate to the objective of study and the nature of test item means it properly defines the objective of study and also defines the nature of test item. Now, general information about test item characterization. It also provides us information regarding uh, transportation, receipt, identification, labeling, sampling, handling, storage, characterization, archiving, disposals, and it varies from study to study. As the test items are different uh, from each other, there uh, all these characterizations can be uh, vary or differ from each other. This is because of the wide varieties of test items and the development and the study stage of test item. <clears throat> also, this study enables the test facility personnel to maintain and control approach in accessing whether information they have available on test item is sufficient. Means it basically provides an approach regarding its access that the researcher has the sufficient information regarding test item. Also, it adopt a risk-based approach to decision making to serve or to ensure that the test item fulfill the objectives of the study. <laughs> now, there are uh, some basic terminologies in test item characterization. First is test item. As I told, the test item is an any article that is the subject of the study means on which we are going to do any research or we are going to study something. It may be from natural source or it may be from synthetic source. It, it may be any chemical entity. It may be medical device, any cell or any organism, etc. <laughs> it should be noted that test item is also referred as test chemical in OECD test guidelines. <clears throat> now, batch or lot number. It is a specific quantity of test item produced during a defined cycle of manufacture in such a way that it could be expected to be a uniform. Means a batch number is a specific number given to the uh, product or uh, any item in which uh, it shows the uniformity or from which uh, batch is it is the, the product is produced then vehicle it is an any agent that serve as a carrier or used to mix disperse suspend or solubilize the test item to facilitate the administration then formulation or mixture, it is a combination of test and different ingredients such as excipients that are combined and administered and applied to test system in a different form. Example, tablet or capsule or solution. Now, test system means any biological or chemical or physical system <clears throat> used for combination, used to study the expiry date. Now, expiration date, it is the designated date in which Test item is expected to remain within established self life 
<clears throat> specification it's stored under defined conditions after which it should be not used then characterization characterization basically means its identification or attributes to its identification it determines attributes of test item and provides evidence to support its suitability for the use in good laboratory practice studies means it suggests that the uh, the test item is suitable or or complies for the good laboratory practices study or it uh, it is uh, it may give good results after uh, when it is used in a research project <clears throat> then retest date it is the date or a test item it is a date in which the test item should be re-examined to ensure that it is suitable for use. Means it is a retesting or re-examination date. Now, preparation of the test item. <clears throat> test facility can be supplied with two unclassified test item or preparations to be processed again or preparation of test item ready to apply or ready to use. <clears throat> there are means basically Two unclassified test items are basically generated. First is a formulation containing test item where combination is obtained, like by new dilution, mixing, dispersion, suspension, solubilization. Means a first step in which a formulation uh, containing test item where it is obtained from dilution or mixing or dispersion process. And that uh, second is a test item which is encapsulated or packed in other ways, means which is packed in some different way in the absence of excipients or vehicles. In this excipients or some vehicles are absent for the purpose of delivery to the test item not regarded as prepared test item as per the guidelines. This, this is not the proper prepared test item. In this, no vehicles are used. Now, characterization of test item. First, the principles of good laboratory practices requires information on identity such as name, code, chemical abstract service number, biological parameters, batch number, purity, composition, and concentration. Means basically, um, for the characterization of any specific uh, test item or any substance or chemical identity, uh, the according to principles of good laboratory practices, the information should be of uh, identification of any substance or chemical, its name, then chemical abstract service number is provided, then biological parameters, then batch number, purity, its purity, and how much is the concentration and composition. Second, it should always be given to whether the information on characteristics of test item is needed in order to design the study and issue the study plan means it should be given uh, whether the information on the characterize of test item is needed in order to study and issue the study plan then there is an expectations that the test item administration or application only occurs when sufficient information is available and that confirms the identity of test items means mm -hmm. it is basically expected that test item administration or application only only or it is used when sufficient information is available to confirm its for confirming its identity then characterization of test item uh, basically includes its stability data it should be completed by the end of the study so that information can be detailed in final study report mm -hmm. Now, sources of characterization data from where the characterization data can be collected or who gives the uh, data, identification data of test item. First, the characterization of test item may be carried out by the sponsor, a supplier or test facility. Uh, means uh, uh, who generates the product is called a sponsor. Uh, then supplier or test facility are responsible for characterization of test item. Then test facility management should ensure that documented procedures are in place to verify the integrity and quality of information provided. Means who are going to uh, provide the characterization data regarding uh, test item. Uh, it should, uh, that ma uh, management should ensure that the documented procedures are in place to verify its integrity and quality information in every case the final study report should be described who is responsible for characterization means uh, 
every final report uh, it should be described that the uh, how, who who is responsible for characterization or the stability data the report may also provide other relevant information such as the quality systems under which the characterization was performed means the report also provides other uh, other an another additional informations like quality systems uh, means basically which which uh, quality systems or analytical techniques likes are used to determine its specific quality or confirm its or ensure its quality now characterization of special test substance now basically uh, test substance may be classified in such a way first test item in early stage of development basically mm -hmm. uh, when test item after uh, develop in a complete product it is first in early stage of development then biochemicals living organisms transgenic animals medical device test item with complex composition radio labeled test mm -hmm. items now we will see one by one in all Test item in early stage of development basically uh, means before earlier stage after developing the test item first step uh, is early stage development of test item. The extent to which the test item will characterize may be commensurate with the stage of product development. Means this is the basic step or it is the basic step of identification of test item. In early stage of test item development there may be less characterization information available means at the developing stage of any test item or to generate any information regarding its characterization there are less information available at starting however but the study director or researcher should always be able to demonstrate that the test item showing in the study is what required in study plan means the researcher should always ensure that what the test item is required for the study uh, specific study plan should be that only which is required. Now, seconds are biochemicals. Now, biochemicals uh, is any uh, biochemical material from you know, it may be any antibody or a peptide or protein or any viral vector enzyme. The need for information to verify biological activity should be considered including means regarding biochemicals, we should con uh, consider the information regarding its characterization like determination method, its quantification, its potency and characterization process. If no information is provided to demonstrate the biological activity of the test item, the reason why the test item is still considered suitable for use in the study plan should be clearly outlined in the study plan and in the final study report. Means if uh, proper information regarding biochemicals or any test items are not mentioned in the uh, regarding characterization of test item then also it is suitable for use it should be uh, <clears throat> outlined or clearly mentioned in protocol that how it is used uh, how it is suitably used if information is not available then also now third are living organisms living organisms may be any cell, any virus, any microorganism and characterization of them may require specific information on their properties which are unique to test items, means which are unique to the test items. <clears throat> Other biological properties that ha may have to be taken into consideration because they have an impact on viability of test items. Means now various, um, uh, means various uh, characterizations or information should be considered because it may be uh, if the some if basic information regarding them is wrong or it is not mentioned then it may affect its viability or its or its you know, we can say its life span of that specific uh, uh, organism information required to characterize living organisms should be considered on a case by case basis and rationally for performing the test prescribed in the study plan means specifically what what information is required to characterize living organisms should be considered on case by case basis means uh, based on uh, organisms and the rationally by performing and the cause or reason for performing test described in the study plan it means why we are using the specific uh, uh, organism in the study plan it should be mentioned now fourth is transgenic organism a test item may be transgenic organism 
means uh, if a, a test item is any transgenic organism if a unique identifier is available this can be included means uh, specific unique points regarding this can be included if information is available on seed certification this can be used means basically now uh, transgenic organism includes basically uh, transgenic seeds then transgenic animals then transgenic plants then uh, certification uh, information on certification mm -hmm. regarding its seeds or its uh, specific material which is modified can be uh, given like the name of the host species uh, means uh, which species is uh, modified yeah. then a description of inserted genetic material uh, which gene is modified in this animal and then uh, the animal is generated or the species is generated the trait and the name of developer and which is the trait or uh, trait or who has developed this model should be mentioned regarding transgenic animal fifth is medical devices uh, now medical devices may be any uh, medical devices like uh, we can say like uh, various types of medical device like walls in uh, walls used in hurt then um, various types of medical devices rods uh, used for implants uh, implant purposes or catheter etc for studies on medical devices characterization data may include first we have to include description of the device means the detailed description of that device what is the device and how to use this how to use it materials of which the device is made from which the specific material is made like steel or iron the name of manufacturer means which company has been manufactured this device the method of manufacture <clears throat> the lot number, method of manufacture, the date of manufacture, stability and storage conditions. And it's all stability, storage conditions and date should be mentioned. Mm -hmm. Then sixth is test item with complex composition. Complex compositions means who are uh, so comp uh, means the test item which are so complex mm -hmm. that uh, means it is uh, so hard to identify or we can say any complex chemical compound or any complex species. <laughs> Substance of unknown or variable components, compositions means basically com complex compositions may be unknown substance or variable different different composition substance, biological material, complex reaction products or products from animal or vegetable or natural origin cannot be sufficiently identified their chemical composition. Means basically only the chemical data uh, is not sufficient for identifying this complex composition. In such cases, the composition could then be identified by the manufacturing process or by the origin description. Means how this is, uh, we can furtherly then uh, no, uh, we can furtherly then identify with the help of their manufacturing process or by the origin of its description, how, from where it is originated and how. Then, uh, seventh is radio label test items. Now, radio label test items are generally how uh, we can say radio tops or isotopes, and they are generally unstable materials. And however, their exact stability characterized are not normally known. Means we don't know the stability of uh, that radio labeled products or radio, radio labeled drugs. So it is not possible to provide a retest date. Means it is not possible. Therefore, their radio purity should be checked at the start of the study and be reported means the purity or radio purity of that specific substance should be checked and should be mentioned and should be reported in uh, that specific substance characterize and characterization data should include the amount of radioactivity per unit means how much is the uh, specific radioactivity of that um, uh, substance per unit its mass or volume example specific activity or specific concentration of any radio labeled test item or radio labeled substance or radio labeled drug this is about radio labeled test item this is for today i hope you understand this video test item characterization thank you